Manchester United going down 2-1 in the Super Cup tonight against Real Madrid. Really disappointed with that, but something that I was expecting to happen. I wasn't expecting Manchester United to get even much more than one goal out of this game and lose at least two, maybe 3-1. Real Madrid are far superior to Manchester United at this moment in time. There's not really a lot Manchester United can do. We, Unfortunately, Real Madrid are the best team in Europe at this moment in time. Won back-to-back -back Champions Leagues, won the La Liga. They've got some of the greatest players in world football, some of the greatest players of all time. And even without Cristiano Ronaldo on the pitch tonight, Real Madrid looked much superior to Manchester United. Hitting the woodwork twice in the game as well as scoring twice. Although Manchester United have had chances, we could have equalised late on. Marcus Rashford missing a great chance to score. Navas saving, which for me, if Rashford wants to be a world-class striker, he's going to have to start putting them chances away on a regular basis to be up there with some of the great players and to cement his place in Manchester United's first team on a regular basis. You've got to be taking them chances against the likes of Real Madrid or you're going to come unstuck against the lesser teams. You can maybe get away with it, but not against the likes of Real Madrid, who are the Ch Champions League winners of last season. The best team, as I say, in Europe. And it's disappointing to lose, but I was expecting it, so I'm not going to be dwelling on it too much over the week. And we'll hope, we'll hope we've got a great game to look forward to on the weekend, Old Trafford against West Ham. So look, finally looking forward to that game. Not going to let it ruin the rest of my week and get too down about it. It is a one-off game. I would have loved Manchester United to have won it, no doubt about it. I really did want Manchester United. I always want Manchester United to win, even if it is only the Charity Shield. I would have preferred Manchester United to have won this, obviously, over the Charity Shield because you've got to win a European trophy in order to win this competition. But at this moment in time, Manchester United and English teams are far behind the Spanish teams, I think they've won it about nine out of about the last ten seasons, a Spanish side. So we've got a long way to go. We are on the right path to getting back to the top, or at least challenging for the Champions League again over the next few seasons. It's going to take time. The positives are obviously Lukaku scoring tonight against a world-class team. He has come under some criticism for signing for Manchester United for that, not scoring in the in a lot of the big games. But he has come up with a good start and scored scored one. Could have had more, but we're just going to have to hope that Manchester United can obviously get better as the season progresses. We're not going to play Real Madrid too often this season. And the Champions League will probably be just too much for Manchester United to challenge for this season. But we've got to be looking to progress, at least challenge for the Premier League this season. You know, it is, it is just about progressing. I mean, you can't just go from being a, a team like we were under Louis van Gaal, who brought a lot of... The, the wrong sort of players and Manchester United have, have started to get away from that. Jose Mourinho has brought in a lot of better players, players that he wants at Manchester United, some big, tall, strong players. So I am positive about the future. You can't just throw two, three hundred million in it and say you're going to be, the, be as good as Real Madrid. It just doesn't work like that. Real Madrid have had this team put together for three, four years now. It's gelled. And as I say, they've got some of the world's greatest players. You've got Tony Kroos in there, you've got Luka Modric in there, you've got Sergio Ramos at the back. Isco was fantastic tonight, and you've got Gareth Bale in there still, you've got Benzema and Ronaldo. This is an absolute world-class Real Madrid team, so you can't take nothing away from Real, from, from that tonight. Real Madrid are the, are the top, top of European football, so for Manchester United to get there, it's probably going to take at least another season, probably another couple of signings from Manchester United to get back to that European elite. And even if we spend another 200 million, there's no guarantee you're going to get back to that European elite because it is so hard to get there. Some teams have just have the, the best players in the world. And at this moment in time, Real Madrid and Barcelona are two, two teams that have two of the best players of all time. So it's really difficult for Manchester United and teams like that to get to that top. But them sort of players will gradually, gradually get towards the end of their careers. And maybe it won't be so some, some dominant for them European teams when the likes of Ronaldo and Lionel Messi are retired. But Ronaldo only played a few minutes tonight, was getting ready for the season, hasn't played a lot of football lately and he come on just to see out the game. They've seen it out and won the cup. So congratulations to Real Madrid for their win. They've won a lot of trophies over the last few seasons. And hopefully Manchester United can get start getting back to that. I think the teams in the Premier League 
it will be a bit easier when we play some of the worst teams in the Premier League than this. This will probably be one of Manchester United's hardest fit work. Can only, can't be any harder than this this coming season for Manchester United. And to win the Premier League at this moment in time, you don't have to be the top team in Europe. But I still think we probably are a tough away from winning trophies on a consistent basis. But I'm really positive with the likes of Lukaku. Matic again, I'm really pleased with Matic coming into Manchester United. Lindelof didn't do much wrong for me tonight. So the positives there, we'll have Eric Bay back as well for the Premier League, which is a positive. Hopefully Luke Shaw will be back and fit soon enough. So things will get better for Manchester United. Whether we can win the Premier League this season or not, I'm not too sure. But I'm hopeful that Manchester United can challenge challenge for the title and win silverware again this season. Let me know your thoughts on the game. Are you confident going into the Premier League weekend? Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll talk to you all again soon. See ya.